Hey, good morning, guys. Tush coming at you. Saturday, August the 17th, 2013. Beautiful day outside today, John Kerry Day. It's supposed to be high 26 degrees Celsius, which makes it nice and comfortable to be out in the garage. Anyway, bright blue skies for sure. Anyway, I did my uh, chores this morning, got the grass cut, so uh, we can play in the garage for a little bit. TR6 is outside, chassis is outside, so that means we're back inside working on the, uh, the body and some of the remaining parts today. So the plan for today is to, um, I think I last left you uh, with this uh, spare tire cover. Um, so we've got that sanded down nicely. We're going to do a little body work on it. Uh, there's a few little dents here and there. So we'll try to hammer them out from the backside as best we can. Then we'll do a little skim coat of filler. We have this uh, vent here uh, on the car, which is actually uh, sort of a little snorkel here that fits. Uh, you can't get the plastic on it, but anyway, it sort of goes like that. And that's a little pop-up uh, air vent to, for air circulation in the car. So we'll strip that down and uh, we'll get that ready for some epoxy as well. That's the original color of the car, British Racing Green. Original color of this car was British Racing Green and had a red interior in it. So a little Christmas tree-ish. Anyway, we'll get that uh, we'll get that cleaned up. And uh, we'll make a little welding repair to the um, transmission uh, cover that's just sitting in salt fetching primer, so with lots of overspray on it now. Uh, we'll uh, get that uh, welded up and we'll get that also into some epoxy. And uh, then we'll start working on the body today, hopefully, and we'll start moving into some different primer. We'll uh, sand off a few of these little issues that I found, you know, some little runs here and there, so we'll flatten those out and then we'll. Uh, We'll start moving on to some uh, polyester primer in certain areas and into some urethane prior primer in other areas. So that's the plan and uh, we'll uh, take some photos or videos uh, as we go along during the day. Talk to you later. Okay guys, just a quick update. So uh, these panels are all ready to go now. Uh, it's all cleaned up. It's uh, roughed up a little bit with uh, 180 grit. I first did it with uh, 36 grit and then just went over it quickly with a 180 grit and there's that uh, vent flap and I've sanded down the uh, transmission tunnel and give that a quick clean and that's ready for epoxy so next step is to uh, mix the epoxy up and let it sit for a half an hour and then induct and then we'll uh, spray these I'm just going to figure out the best way to spray these I'm thinking of trying to hang them so I can do front and back at the same time anyway we'll see what I can do Talk to you later. Hey guys, Tush coming at you. It's uh, about 10 to 8 and uh, just coming to the end of a long day. <clears throat> so I've been pretty much working on the car most of the day. Um, I did manage to get the, um, I don't know if you can see that very well, but the uh, transmission tunnel is now uh, in epoxy primer as well as the uh, spare tire cover, um, the vent lid, and this is actually the uh, prop rod for the, uh, for the trunk lid. So I did that at the same time. I do need to do some body work on this um, this trunk uh, or the uh, spare tire lid. It's got a few dents in it. I can see them uh, now with the primer on it. So we'll give that a bit of a sand down tomorrow and we'll do a bit of body work on it. I was going to do it to, to bare metal, but uh, I thought I would just uh, throw a quick coat of epoxy on it while I was doing the rest of these panels and I can do my body work over the epoxy. It doesn't look like there's a lot of required body work on it, but there is some. I do have a little bit of a run, of course, as per usual. Um, I'll sand that out tomorrow. But other than that, it looks pretty good. I did weld that uh, that uh, crack up in the... Uh, actually, it was right up there in the front. And uh, that's looking good. I did move on to uh, the two rear fenders of the car. I did have to do a bit of uh, repair work on these, so I've actually hit it with some uh, etching uh, primer where I went down to bare metal on the insides. And I've got this one out here. Um, just did the top side. Bottom side I did earlier in the day. So we're just, uh, that's the first coat. We're just waiting for it to flash off. That's just on bare metal. This was the last fender that needed to go into epoxy. So uh, we'll probably do that tomorrow. We'll probably just um, give that uh, self etching primer a quick scrub down with the red Scotch Brite and we'll uh, coat with that with epoxy tomorrow. And then that will be the last of the uh, panels that need to be epoxied. And I think that's it for epoxy actually on the car. So, um, yeah, so it's looking good, coming together. Uh, like I said, it's been a, and it's pretty, pretty much all day 
process today between you know spraying and uh, waiting for flash times and dry times. This epoxy actually takes three hours to dry uh, fully, so it's a, it's a quite a long uh, dry compared to the matrix pro matrix product that I have. So uh, it's a little bit of an issue uh, having this uh, you know taking three hours to dry and wanting to do stuff. Uh, in the garage. I really can't work in the garage. That's why I've got these panels outside and I've been working sort of outside the side of the garage while I've been waiting for those, uh, those epoxy panels to, uh, to dry. Anyway, uh, it's worked out okay. Um, like I said, I think what we'll do is we'll upload this for tonight and we'll get back out here tomorrow. Alright guys, have a good night. Talk to you later.